far apart, close in heart. Children and parents can't always live together. Parents may have to go away and sometimes stay away for a long time. That's what happens when a parent goes to jail or prison. Lots of children have a parent behind bars. When your mom or dad goes to jail, you can have all kinds of feelings. You may have different feelings at the same time, or one big feeling may push all the others away. Lacey feels okay in the daytime when she can play with her friends, but lonely and scared at night when she's by herself in her room. Rashid is angry with his mom. The last time she got out of jail, she promised him she was home to stay, and then she broke another law and had to go back to jail. Moana feels torn apart. Her pappy is already in prison. When her mama gets arrested, Moana and her siblings go to live in different homes because nobody can take them all. Saying so many goodbyes hurts. If your dad or mom is in prison, you probably have questions. Simple questions can have easy answers, but other questions are harder to answer and may even be hard to ask. Yen has questions that she doesn't want to ask anyone but her mother. Her father gives her paper and a pencil. Yen writes, Why are you there? Is it my fault? When are you coming home? Do you still love me? They mail the letter to her mother. When other kids hear about Raphael's papa, they ask questions. What did he do? How many years did he get? Raphael feels embarrassed because he doesn't know the answers. If you don't know how to answer, you can find different ways to respond. Raphael says, I don't want to talk about it. When you have a parent in prison or jail, sometimes friends act differently. The boys on Jermaine's team call him names. Jermaine is glad their coach puts a stop to that really fast. Emily's friend Tina won't play with her anymore. Tina says her mother told her to stay away from Emily. Hearing those words might leave you sad, shocked, hurt, or with other feelings. Emily's friend Joanna says, don't worry, Emily. I will always be your friend. Emily feels grateful to have a friend like Josanna. Sometimes if your parent is in jail, you act differently. After his father is gone, Atien starts acting up in class. He was always proud of following school rules, but now he's in trouble all the time. He even fights with his best friend. Xavier's dad is in the state penitentiary. Don't tell anybody, his mother says. So Xavier doesn't speak at all. He used to share stories and jokes that his dad told him. Now he's scared he might tell the secret. Even when you think nothing can ever get better, things can change. And sometimes you can help make changes. One way is by telling somebody, someone how you feel. Juana tells her foster mother how upset she feels with her family scattered all over. Her foster mother lets Juana call each of her siblings. Etienne tells his teacher how frustrated he feels with his father gone. Etienne says, three years in prison for him isn't fair to me. Germain talks to his grandpa about the boys on his team. He always feels better after Grandpa listens. Lacey tells Mama Jen how much she misses Mommy, and Mama Jen takes Lacey for a visit. Lacey feels fearful going inside tall fences and hearing doors lock behind them. In this prison, Lacey can hug Mommy twice, at the beginning of the visit and at the end. Mommy sings their special bedtime song. Now Lacey sings it every night. Not everyone can visit. The jail or prison may be far away, or traveling there may cost too much money. Another way to stay close is by talking on the phone or sending emails or letters. Xavier's dad calls him on the phone. After they talk, Xavier feels great. He doesn't have to keep secrets from his dad. Rashid is still too angry to talk on the phone with his mom. Maybe next time she calls, he'll be ready. Raphael mails a picture he drew to his papa 
He hopes Papa will send him a drawing, too. Yen likes writing letters. Her mother wrote back and answered every question. My sweet Yen, I'm here because I broke the law. I will be here until you are twelve years old. It is not your fault. I will never stop loving you. You and I may be far apart, but you're always close to me in my heart. <laughs>